Another grim coronavirus milestone, milestone for Georgia. 100 people between the ages of 18 and 29 have now died from complications related to the virus. That number shows the severe impact even for younger adults and why doctors say it's so vital to continue practicing safety protocols like wearing masks and socially distancing yourself. Today, the nation is also getting another weapon against the virus. Trucks carrying the first shipments of the Johnson & Johnson vaccine are officially out on the roads. Millions of doses are going out all over the country. Georgia is expected to receive more than 80,000 doses per week. Joe Hinkey explores the impact a third vaccine could have on our state. Experts I talk with today say Johnson & Johnson's vaccine could be a game changer for three reasons. First, it's yet just another vaccine at our disposal in the middle of a pandemic. Two, it does not require ultra cold storage like Pfizer's vaccine. And three, it's a single dose vaccine. The state right now is expecting 83,000 doses of this vaccine to arrive within the week. So that means 83,000 Georgians soon will be fully vaccinated. We really want to decrease uh, severe disease. That's what, that's what we do. That's what we hope for uh, with vaccinations. Dr. Philippe Labello is the physician director for epidemiology with Kaiser Permanente Georgia. Johnson & Johnson's efficacy rate for blocking any infection is 72% compared to 95 with Pfizer and Moderna. But Labello says all three have the same rate of the bigger priority, decreasing the most severe cases. And it is why he says you should book whatever vaccine you can as soon as you can. All the vaccines have shown 100% uh, efficacy to prevent from severe uh, disease, hospitalization, you know, ICU, hospitalization, and mortality. It's really a game changer. I think the more we get into an easier vaccine, the, the easier it is, basically. Dr. Carlos Del Rio, infectious disease expert with Emory University, says from a logistics standpoint, Johnson & Johnson's vaccine eliminates an issue with Pfizer and Moderna. With no second dose to schedule, Johnson & Johnson could be a vaccine to offer to populations facing transportation issues. If somebody has to travel three hours to get to vaccination site, let's give them one dose. So you need to see who's going to have trouble rescheduling and coming back for the second dose and maybe think about that as a population you target. The single dose may also convince more people to be vaccinated. A survey from Kaiser Family Foundation found in February, 22% of Americans were waiting to decide if they will get vaccinated, but 26% of that group said they would be more likely to get vaccinated if it was only one dose. And whether or not the Johnson & Johnson vaccine will be coming exactly to where you live, that is still unknown. A state health department spokeswoman today told me they are working out their plan still of where to send the first shipment of Johnson & Johnson doses when they arrive.